Okay, here I'm testing out my new headset, which is a Sennheiser PC230. Um, I haven't done a lot of voiceover type recording before, so I'm a bit new at the whole thing, but I've worked out some settings that seem to work out pretty well for it. Um, the game here is Limbo. I'm expecting I'm just going to be falling off this roof again and again and again, so it shouldn't be too much of a spoiler. Unless seeing a little boy fall down is, um, yeah, a spoiler. But the sound card in my computer is not very good um, as far as picking up recording goes. It outputs nicely, or as far as I'm concerned, it, yeah, sounds good enough. But the recording quality is quite um, noisy. It seems to have a lot of interference somewhere. Yeah, get used to seeing that. Uh, what I did have on hand though was some really, really cheap USB sound cards that I bought off eBay to use with an older headset with the PS3. So I've plugged one of them into just one of the USB 2 ports on the front of my case. Um, uh, yeah, I'll go into my PC a little, a little bit more. The um, motherboard is the ASRock Z77 Extreme 4 which uses the Realtek 898 I don't know if it's called a codec or what but yeah Realtek 898 is what I always that's what I always google and it always always comes up so I think there's a little bit more a little bit more to it than that but that's the basic um, important information about the onboard sound card and the case is a uh, um, Cooler Master, really cheap case, it's the um, Elite RC372 I believe so there's a chance that the um, wiring between the header and the sound card isn't any good Although I tried plugging into the directly into the sound card or the yeah the motherboard's onboard sound in the rear of the case and that didn't have significantly better um, noise results. So I'm using one of these really cheap USB sound cards and I'm getting pretty amazing results from that. Um, the amount of noise that cuts compared to the onboard sound is pretty amazing. And there's a lot of background noise here in the game, but if I knock into the menu it cuts that out. It sounds like rain and it almost sounds like chanting in the background too. But that's pretty normal when you're playing a game I think for there to be a level of ambient noise. So this is what it sounds like with no noise coming from the game. And then when it's in the game obviously there's background noise. Um, so that's the hardware setup. Um, oh, I've got the got the headphone plugged straight into the 3.5 millimeter jack at the front because that sounds better than this sound card. Um, one of my other USB sound cards that was even I think cheaper than this one output sound just as good as the onboard um, Realtek. I've switched back to this one just because I'm switching back and forth to make little comparisons. But the other one um, is sort of sort of seems like an adequate all-in-one. Like even if you didn't have an onboard sound card at all or didn't have a decent one, I think the other one I have, which is grey, you could use for input and output. Um, ah, I just got a run-up. That might be part of the trick. That's funny. So, let's see here. This might be a spoiler after all. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't really help if all I'm doing is jumping into a saw blade. But yeah. Alright. So the um, the mic's plugged in to this black boxy quote 7.1 unquote um, sound card in the USB 2 port at the front of the computer. My headset's just plugged into the 3.5mm jack next to it. And so I'm getting good, um, good stereo output, and also, to my ear anyway, the um, 
recording quality is pretty good. And in the sound settings uh, in Windows, I've got AGC, which is Automatic Gain Control, switched on. And I don't think that actually does any um, dynamic level changing. I think it just puts quite a significant boost on the volume. Um, so that's switched on, and I've got it set to 90 volume on the mic. So this is recording almost at the maximum of what this this setup can record. Um, but when that comes in at a pretty audible volume, I don't think that's a problem. I could push it up to 100, but I think this is a pretty comfortable level. And that's pretty much, I think that's pretty much all there is to know software-wise. There really aren't a lot of options in the um, in the sound settings when you've got just a generic USB device like this plugged in. I did, I bumped it up to um, to DVD quality rather than CD quality just before I ran this test. But I didn't expect that to make a difference and I'm pretty sure it didn't. Because there's... Um, yeah, there's just not enough quality in this setup to notice a difference between CD and DVD quality. Okay, that's not what you do. <laughs> but that's it. I'll cut it off there because I think that's um, yeah an adequate test and an adequate description. Um, I bought three of these USB sound cards at the same time because I didn't know if there were any differences between them or if any of them would work better than the others. Um, I bought them all from different places and I don't know which one's which now, which one came from which shop, because two of them look the same apart from colour, and the black one which I'm using now, that one is distinct, so I could probably track that one down, but that's a, um, like a rectangular box with hard corners, and it says 7.1 channel or something on it, I've just hit my headset there, and it has um, inline controls on the box which actually do work with Windows. It's got um, mic mute, desktop sound, output mute, and volume controls up and down and those all function as they should. And it was it's something like two dollars. It was like two dollars thirty or something like that. So the only issue is like reliability and whether you're actually gonna get the same unit that I've got. But um, it's sound input, like it takes in really clear audio from a 3.5mm jack. The output I would avoid if you can. Um, but the other grey sound card has... it um, seems the same, the input seems the same, the volume and everything is the same, but the output is higher quality. So, I mean if you've got, if you've got a few bucks and you feel like playing around, um, buy up a bunch of these from different places. I think I spent just under five bucks on all three and one of them works really well for the PS3, and one of them works really well here on the PC, or two of them work quite well, but one of them has good output as well as input. So, they're, they're good for play. But anyway, this is mostly a test of the, um, the Sennheiser PC230 wired stereo headset. Um, I'll cut that background noise again. So if you, if you already have a good sound, co sound card or good onboard sound, none of that matters, and um, yeah, the um, mic quality on this, when you've got the right sound card, is evidently good enough for me. Uh, the output to the headphones is also really satisfying to me. Um, some people are, you know, crazy about bass and everything, but I'm not crazy about it. Like, I never... yeah. I never go nuts the way other people do about things being completely terrible and that kind of thing. So I'm not I'm not picky, um, but it sounds really good to me, really clear and um, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't call it baseless. I wouldn't call it gutless. It sounds good to me, but that was just a disclaimer that I'm not the most um, discerning audio shopper. But I picked this headset up for twelve bucks, and when I when I couple it with this USB sound card, which was another you know, two odd dollars. It's an excellent setup. So yeah, that's it. Um, I hope that was an adequate demonstration. And yeah, there are a few other a few other demos online, but I think the more the merrier when there's only a few. So that's my little contribution.